Hello. So today we are having a video on sharks, why you shouldn't be scared of sharks, and different types of sharks, and what happens to sharks. So what we're going to start with is some pictures that I found on the internet. Some of them are pretty darn cute. And so we're going to start with the pictures and what types. So we have all sorts of different sharks. So what we've got is a cookie cutter shark. It, they're called that because their mouth is about the size of your normal round cookie cutter. Got the black tip shark. The black tip shark is exactly what it sounds like. Every fin and its big fin on the top has a little black tip. We've also got the cow shark, which is also known as the mahark shark. It's because it looks like it's got mud stuck to it. And we've got the pajama shark, which is one of my favorites. He's little and he looks like he's wearing pajamas. And we've also got the lemon shark, the bamboo shark, the great white shark, the, the nurse shark, the goblin shark, the saw shark, the whale shark, the hammerhead shark, the black reef, the black tip reef shark. And some other shirt that I can't see the name. And that's what all those look like. And we've got the Bramble Shark, the Thresher Shark, the Sleeper Shark, also known as the Pajama Shark. Or it's called the Sleeper Shark because, well, the Sleeper Shark sleeps a lot. The Silky Shark, actually, if you watch Disney Plus, there's a show called Weird But True, and they dive in with some sharks. And, and then, I'm pretty sure there's a shark called the Dog Shark. This is just a silly picture. And then, of course, there's a very common favorite shark, the Great White Shark. Now we're off to why you shouldn't be scared of sharks. How people start to get scared of sharks. From some movies like the movies Jaws or all these other kind of shark movies. But that's not true. Actually, inside of, inside of 1940 something, more people got injured by toilets than sharks. 13 people got injured by sharks and over... 43,000 people got injured by toilets and air fresheners. Of course, we've also got the reasons, the reason why there aren't many sharks. Some of them are threatened to extinction and all that. Well, why they're threatened. Why threatened? Because over 50 million sharks are killed every year just for their fins. And it's to make things like shark fin soup, souvenirs, and other things that are shark related. And we've also got how you could save sharks. You could... You could... Use a recyclable bag in, instead of things like plastic bags, paper bags, and all that. Because what happens is that they're going to get into the water, into sharks, and we've also got the sea turtles, which those little soda ring thingies, they're always eating them, and then that hurts them a lot. And sharks have also been known to eat license plates and tires. Which is insane and probably not that good for them. And of course we have to know about more other things about sharks. So most people get injured by sharks is because they won't stop bugging them. And there's a saying that goes with practically every animal like spiders and wasp and bees and especially sharks 
don't bug the shark, the shark won't bug you. It goes with a lot of things and why people get bitten by sharks because they won't stop bugging them. And we've got, of course, our great white shark. But, surprisingly, more people got get injured by toilets, vending machines, and cows, and buckets more than sharks. How they get injured by vending machines is they get their hands stuck inside that little flap thing that's there. And so, that's why you shouldn't be scared of sharks. And how you can save the sharks, use metal straws instead of plastic straws. Over... 500 million plastic straws are used every day in the U.S. Inside the USA. So, what you could do is use a metal straw, like the ones that you would see hanging up at Hanford and Walmart. They could sell some at Dollar Tree once. And so, that's what you could do. Instead of use the plastic straws and the paper straws, because they'll, they'll end up in the ocean when you're at the beach. And, like plastic bags, some animals will get confused that they're jellyfish and then end up eating them. And then they get sick. So dolphins do that, but we're talking about sharks right now. So, so, learn about more about sharks and find how you can help through the resources. So, you could find resources, and I hear some resources that I've used and will use. So, what you could do, ditch the single-use plastics. Make a switch. Instead, use a reusable water bottle. Use metal and glass straws. And, and canvas tote bags. That means use tote bags instead of things like water bottles and all that stuff but but a lot of people use plastic bags leave it there or like they have a picnic and then leave all of their trash there that affects the oceans the sharks the dolphins and all the other ocean creatures but still we're talking about sharks and what you could do you could use like old tote bags and then turn it to something new like a toy or another tote bag or a box you can make more things you can make more things throughout old clothes to plastic bags you can make plarn which you could use for weaving and all that plarn is just plastic yarn which makes it exact which is exactly what it sounds like just like how i ate ban vanilla yogurt today vanilla yogurt banana vanilla yogurt which i love the name so we've got all of the things about sharks that we would need for now so like so like how to save the oceans different kinds of sharks and about sharks but still but still help sharks don't be scared of them and also, there's one way it won't, it won't bug you. Don't bug the shark, it won't bug you. Thank you for coming to this video.